Hi guys, Barry from BA Brew News. Here again with another single cut beer. Single cut Brew Smiths. Astoria? New York? Perhaps. Let's check it out. I don't even know the name of the beer. But it's got a watering can on the front of it. So what is it called? This is Green Plastic Watering Can Double Dry Hopped Imperial IPA. What the fuck? Okay. 8% alcohol by volume. And they are by Single Cut Beer Smiths. Not Brew Smiths. Beer Smiths. Mash Free Nose. No Shortcut. And they from they are from Astoria, New York. Though. I remember that at least. There we go. And Clifton Park, New York, apparently. Uh, singlecut.com. Drink ASAP in a can. Wide mouth glass. Short, cold, and upright. Unfiltered. Pour carefully. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who decided. And there's some embossing here that you can actually feel the single cut. It's really nice packaging. What the fuck? Someone apparently thought this was like the cat's meow and did this, but I just think it's a little stupid. But that's fine. Hey, beer's supposed to be a little weird. Craft beer should be a little weird. Was that what was the was it Melvin? Excuse that wipe. Uh, but isn't it Melvin Brewing Company that said be if yeah if your beer isn't madness then it's not beer, that kind of thing. So let's try to let's try to we're gonna have to side pour for a true label out, folks. A watering can out. Okay, lots of haze, lots of craziness. Let's get that watering can in there with the single cut. That's good. I'm listening to some Infernum on cassette. Haze for days, unclear for years, lemon yellow chaos. What else could I say to this white topped head? Okay. Aroma. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. Piffy nuances of tangerine, grapefruit, orange, maybe even a little bit of a lemon zest in there too. This little piffy spiciness. A little pepperiness. But yeah, just a lot of piff. A lot of oily, piffy tones. On top of a little bit of an oaty, creamy base. Hey. Let's get into it. Cheers. Man, there's got to be some lactose or something in this. Odie lactose -y goodness. That is creamy. It's so subtle. So smooth. Orange, orange cream sickle. Wow. That was an enjoyable experience. <laughs> Let's go in for another one. Cheers. It's not bombastic. It's not in your face. It's just very subtle, very tasty, very nice. Um, orange creamsicle. Orange creamsicle all day. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly dry. It's not overly. Everything's balanced. Everything's cohesive, Joe. It is. Everything's cohesive. Everything's working together. Everything has an idea and a plan that makes the plan happen. And I totally get orange cream sick vibes. It's really tasty. Very, very, very unassuming for the, I believe it was 8% ABV of this one. Yeah, 8%. Holy shit. And it drinks so well. Very, very nice. Uh, excuse me. Let's pour more.
as you can see, unclear for years, haze for days. Just that lemon yellow kind of crazy color. Completely thick, top white head still. It's one of those ones where it's like, God, you're nuanced, but you're delicious. This is so approachable, it's disgusting. There's no bitterness at all. It's creamy, it's soft, it's smooth, it's delicate. There's a little bit of a hint of a sweetness from a lactose and an oat. Something along those lines of a lactose and an oat. You don't get that kind of torrified wheat kind of clinging mouthfeel or oat mouthfeel, so that's nice. You don't get any of that kind of clinging side mouthfeel, which is good. Everything goes down smooth, crisp, clean, clear, but it's, it's thick, it's creamy, lots of beautiful orange rind qualities there kind of coming out to the forefront grapefruit it gives you this beautiful orange creamsicle vibe minus minus that like strong vanilla minus that if they put some vanilla with this too see I don't know if they were going for that vibe if they put vanilla in this where you get a hint of vanilla while you're drinking it it's totally orange creamsicle it's stupid. It's it's just really, really, really good. It's not bombastic Jerry. enough that you can really like talk about it and describe all the different details and stuff like that. It's more nuanced. It's, it's more nuanced, and even the the orange creamsicle vibe that I'm getting is nuanced. It's still there though. It's so easy drinking it's a beautiful vibe there's no off flavors a lot of, of nice pithy characters but nothing too dry nothing too oily nothing too bright damn it's hard to describe too it's hard to talk about this because if you talk about if you down talk it it sounds like you're, you're making if you say it's nuanced and stuff it sounds like you're down talking about it it's not it's delicious it's just not bombastic if you know what I mean. Yeah. It actually reminds me, I've said it before in some reviews, it actually slightly reminds me of a beer I brewed myself. Uh, there's always vanilla. I called that beer. And it had a lot, a lot, neither, I can't talk. A, a, a lot of nice characteristics like this, that kind of hint of, an, of a grapefruit, orange rind, that kind of thing, and that nice nuance of a vanilla sweetness. The vanilla is taken away, some of that, that nuance of the vanilla in my beer, and added with this kind of lactose oat to balance. Same thing. Just drink that all day. Just drink this all day. Great beer. Really well done. Uh, I'm not going to throw it to the nine category because of the fact that it is nuanced to fuck but 8% dangerous to drinkable no bitterness easily approachable great beer excuse me carbonation there is carbonation but I'm gonna give it an 8.5 all day every day wow definitely check it out definitely check this one out <laughs> excuse me I think, I don't know if there's a storm coming in. I don't think I'm having a little allergy attack right now. Sorry about that. But, this beer is something else, man. Yeah, uh, it's a little bit of a stupid name and a stupid label, but the green plastic watering can, double dry hopped, imperial IPA, is a winner in my book. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Definitely check it out. This has been Paul from Paper News. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Bye-bye. Watch a finger. Boo!